Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Shintoro Higashi Show, Peter Yu. Today, we're going to talk about Kazushi, K U Z U S H I. Yeah, Kazushi. Well, I, I guess a lot of people who listen to this podcast kind of know what that is. But for those who don't know, like, let's, what, what is Kazushi? Yeah, to break the balance. That's what it means, right? Yeah. And, you know, you hear this in like just regular day to day jargon. It's not specific to judo, but you break something. Mm. Kazusu. Right, so like, oh, there's a mm-hmm. you know house of cards, and you know you kick it over and you kuzusu, right? You break it down, right? yeah. Uh-huh. And then, but specifically in the ter- context of grappling, it means to off balance. Off balance, right? Yes, yes, yeah. It's not just in judo. You, th- you know, it, does it matter in wrestling too? Yes, of course. Off balance is everything. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh, famously, John Donaher, who is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu teacher, speaks about this all the time: kuzushi, kuzushi, kuzushi. Okay. So he talks about, you know, Kazushi. It's like everywhere. Everywhere in grappling, it really is sort of the fundamental building block of, right. you know, the sport. But it's not as simple as people think it is, right? Because mm-hmm. there's a little bit more complexity with it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Like, well, what, what do most people think Kazushi Okay, is? so there's like this sort of common knowledge thing of Kazushi, Tsukuri, and Bukake. Uh, kake. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted to put that in, don't just say that. <laughs> sorry, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Kake, Kazushi, yeah. Sushi, Tsukuri, and Kake. Kake, yeah. <laughs> what, what, are those, what are those men? Yeah. Yeah, so there's three parts of the throw. You off balance them, and then you make, make the, the shape throw. of the throw, yeah. and then you execute the throw. Yeah. Right? The last yeah. part of the throw, right? So yeah. it's a three part thing. Uh, but off balance of someone is it's very fleeting because we're very, very good at keeping our balance. Yeah. Our inner ear works right. to all keep our balance, right? There's visual stimuli that work to keep our balance. You know, we want to be upright day to day. Mm. Right. And then, you know, it's associated with being a good athlete, right? I mean, yeah. who's a great athlete? Athletes are good at staying on their feet. Generally mm. good athletes, you know? So it's like, okay, shift the person's balance to the outside of their foot to the left leg. And then you want to put all their weight on that one leg so you can reach that leg. That's Kazushi, but it's fleeting. Mm. They're instantly and it's gone instantly. Right. right. Because we're very good at adjusting and shifting the weight back. So we're centered over our base. And mm. our base is two legs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we're shifting our weight constantly, one leg to the other, walking, keeping our balance. Right. Think about it. If you're taking that step and you step on a banana peel and you know your feet go out from underneath you, you're losing a base, you're gonna be kazushi. Yeah. <laughs> I have a banana peel. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what, what are some nuances that, I mean, that I think that's what most people think about, just kind of losing balance. But what are some of the uh, details that people miss? They... Yeah. So the details, it's not just one thing, kazushi this and then go into that, kazushi that and go into this. Okay? Right. And a lot of the times we think about like, okay, we have to make this shape with our hands. You got to look at the watch, answer the phone, pull yeah. them forward for kazushi. Okay. But if you look at that maneuver, it's very mm. difficult to do. Yeah. Because a lot of the times, if you're looking at the watch and pulling the sleeve head towards you like this in upward motion, you're using your rear delt, which is a very small, small muscle. Small, yeah. Okay. And then the right hand, the tsurite, the hand on the collar, right, goes up like a telephone. And then you're wedging the sort of forearm into their armpit and you're pulling them forward. Okay. Now what are you using? You're using your anterior delts and your, your bicep brachialis. Like, yeah. that's not a very strong muscle either. Right. You're using two very small muscles to drive the person forward. Right? Mm-hmm. How does this kind of make sense? If they're leaning backwards, you can't do it. Yeah, right. right? So the nuances comes from, okay, I try to trip him backwards. He resists back. And then I'm adding to that force coming with my two small muscles. Mm-hmm. Or I'm leaning away using my entire body weight. So now yeah. you have body weight engaged. So those are some of the nuanced ideas. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it goes beyond just making the shape with your hands and your body, right? Mm-hmm. It's action, reaction, feeling the opponent, and then gaming. Right, right. That. So the people, yeah, I, yeah. So like for beginners, I, I, you know, a lot of times people just say, "Oh yeah, they look at the watch, answer the phone, kind of thing." And yeah. I think that really can be frustrating for beginners because you try to do that at, at Randori. Of course it doesn't work. So yeah. No. It's, yeah. So, so how do you kind of go over that frustration? Like, but it is true that you kind of have to do it. 
but a little bit, yeah, a little bit, you know, it's not wrong. It's not the whole picture. So no. how do you, how do you approach teaching this? Yeah. Okay. So hand position is huge. Mm. And I always talk about good hand position. And my biggest example is if we're 50, 50, right versus right, you put your hand behind the collar and yeah. you take that other person's hand off. Right. Yeah. And you explain to them, Hey, I can pull his head down. He cannot pull my head down. That's winning yeah. in position so far. And now that we're locked into the gi, he's not going anywhere. Right. Okay. So from here, I'm going to pull his head down to off balance him away from his base. This is mm. how I do it. And that's a much easier idea to show the concept of Kazushi because you're using your lats and your back. Yeah. Right. So it's a lot bigger of a muscle to pull their head down and step backwards. A lot easier to off balance. You see how he's off balance. Yeah. You try to regain his balance. And then that's when you go in for a throw. Mm. Okay. So that's a lot more intuitive for someone to understand the concept because she's like, how can I off balance someone with my rear delt and my anterior delt? Right. What if the person's leaning back? Yeah. There's none of those things that can sort of question yeah. the method. Right. Because look, dominant, I can pull his head down. Can you pull my head down? No. I pull his head down using my lats. Right. And oh, shoot. And yeah. then his head comes up and now there's my attack. Right. See how this opens up? I'm using Kazushi to create an opening. So you're taking away right. variables for them so that it's easier to yes. understand. Yeah. And no one say it better than I do. But, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's why we do this together, I guess. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So that's so, a good way. Yeah. Yeah, I did notice that, you know, that I kind of, so when, you know, especially jujitsu people, when they ask me about throws, I actually, I yeah. follow your method. I teach yeah. them the grips too. And then it, it, it's all, they pick it up a lot faster because it's, yeah. there's le fewer variables yeah. and they, they can understand the concept a lot faster. Yeah. Sometimes it's actually just better to be like, hey, this is how you do a tie. I'll go try it. And it never works. <laughs> yeah. Right. And right. then you could kind of be the gatekeeper of the first is like, why? Oh. It doesn't work. Right? Oh, like the Socratic method. <laughs> yeah. Then it's like, oh, because they're stiff part of me. They're not letting me get in. Yeah. Why can't you get it? You know? Yeah. Right. And there's usually two factors, right? Your hips are too far away. Their hips are too far away. Mm. A lot of distance to cover. So distance yeah. is a factor, right? His arms are in between like locked out stiff arm position. This is a very strong barrier. That's a hand position thing. Yeah. So how about if you win position, you encroach, okay? Yeah. You pull their head down and then you go tile. Then it's a lot easier. But you right, don't have to right. give them that information right up front. Yeah. That's a lot. Like that's, said, a, that's very yeah. complicated. Yeah. yeah. So Socratic method, yeah. Yeah. This is how you do tile, buddy. Go try it. You know. Uh, ask yourself why it why it didn't work. <laughs> why it doesn't work? And you know, when you ask somebody why, everyone yeah. tries to find sort of a singularity, the one reason why. Yeah. Right? And it generally is based on the other person's trait. The guy's too strong. He's too mm -hmm. big. Right. Mm. He's too fast. He's just too big of an athlete. He just knows more than me. Right. But it's generally not the case. It's like three or four different factors that are a lot more technical. Yeah. You know? And sometimes it's like they think, ah, oh, it's not going to work. And then, you know, they kind of defeat themselves beforehand. And sometimes that's that too. Right. Yeah. So, you know, that's, that's what I would do. Um, but yeah. It's a very interesting thing. Kazushi, you know, uh, how do you so, gain Kazushi? Yeah. 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 So that's, that's how you teach Kazushi. So let's, uh, kind of move even teach it really. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. And then, then let's go on to the other side. Like, how do you practice that? Like, yeah, you don't really do that. For example, in Uchikomi, I mean, I guess you kind of do that, but you do the motion, not the actual idea yeah. behind it. So is it for, is it, to, should we just do more moving Uchikomis or is it just, should we just do more randori? Yeah, it's embedded, you know? Yeah. And it's so easy for when you're doing randori and something doesn't work for the coach to say, hey, you're not pulling enough or hey, mm -hmm. there's not enough Kazushi. But those kind of advice really ever useful. Right. Oh, I'm not pulling it off. It's never as simple as that, right? Yeah. It's sort of the whole of judo. Mm -hmm. And then there's the sort of small pieces of it. You know what I yeah. mean? So like I said, it's like the tactical aspect versus the strategical aspect. It's like yeah. little sort of micro and macro. You know, you yeah. have to kind of look at this lens, right? So you're kind of always training this. And the number one thing that I do say all the time that'll help people 
is the hands go first, mm. not their legs. Mm. Hands what go first. Yeah. I, so if I'm doing Taitoshi, if my legs go and turn and my hand behind me, it's very difficult to pull them from that right. position because they're right. upright. Mm-hmm. If I go Koshi Grimo or a headlock throw, and if I just turn my body without all bouncing forward, he's going to wrap around my waist and dump me over my back. Right? Yeah. But if my hands go first and I'm driving him forward, and then I see the Kazushi and I could thread that moment, that's good. So yeah. hands go first. Hands go first, right? Uh-huh. And then usually when you're off-balancing someone, you know, if they're resisting backwards, you get off balance in the opposite direction. Right? right. So when you're doing throws, focus on your toes. Your weight is on your heel, you're going to go backwards, right? Mm-hmm. And majority of the throw you're going, you need to go forward, right? Because mm-hmm. you need to engage your core and right. throw them over or even OG, you have to go forward. Right? Yeah. Most throws, 99, 90% of throws. So hands go first. Mm-hmm. Weight on your toes. Weight on your toes. Those are two things that'll help you for, up a lot. Right? If you right. just say those two things, it'll help. You know, and it's more complicated, like I said, because there's a lot of push pull, circling, yeah. attacking the feet, off balancing in a way where you're like gaining position, off balance, gaining position, off balance, attack. But those two are sort of the lowest hanging fruits in terms of like things you could say to coach someone to learn these things. Right? It's not like, hey, Kazushi the person. Hey, pull more. That stuff is not useful. Yeah, because that that it's actually uh, it, harder to follow if you just say pull more, push more, because there's uh, so yeah. much uh, missing information there, and then yeah. beginners will get frustrated because they're just like, yes. "What does that even mean?" I try to yeah. push, I can't even push, I can't even pull. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it's like sort of an esoteric solution in the most simplified way. Yeah. That just is absolutely useless to most people. Yeah, and then right. What? But if you just give specific things like, oh, hands first, that, uh, or toe, uh, weight on the toes. That's easy enough to understand and then actually do it right away. And those are easy things to identify as a coach yeah. as well. You know, right. because most of the time you hear these coaches mm-hmm. like, go for the cross grip. It's like, why? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, I hear these crazy advice that I hear on the sidelines. Like, why are you giving <laughs> that advice? Uh-huh. How about this? Don't cross your feet. It's like, you can cross what? your feet if there's reason to do it. Like, yeah. What do you mean right. don't cross your feet? It's very rare that the person standing upright in losing position, standing and crisscrossing their feet over and over. Like right. That's very rare, right? Who does that? Right. Nobody. But people make these mistakes, right? Their legs go first or their weights on their heels. That's very yeah. common, right? And if we're talking in context of Kazushi, those are the two biggest things that... Mm-hmm. And if your hands don't go first, they're not sufficiently off balance because you need your hands, the kinetic chain, yeah. right? Floor, core, hands, extremities. I'm locked with my hands on this person, okay? There's no way that I could force this person forward or backwards if I don't use my hands. Mm. Yeah. They say, uh, don't use your arms, they say, like in boxing, right? Yeah. Punch from your legs, you know? And it makes sense, right? Because the kinetic chain comes from the floor and then you transfer it onto your hands, right? Yeah. But you have to use your arms. Right, of course. What they're (laughs) trying to say is don't just punch using your arms only. Yeah. Okay. Same thing in judo, right? You're not just using your arms. You're going to throw your whole body into it, right? But the hands go first mm-hmm. is what I always say. Even though it is a little misleading, right? Because you're throwing your body, you're pushing off with the ground. Yeah. Kinetic chain. It's the same analogy in boxing as it is in judo. Right. Right. In a lot of different yeah. sports. So look, you got to yeah. connect the chain and that's how you become strong. And that's how you feel strong. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you use your kinetic chain to take their balance while you keep yours. Yours. Yeah. And if you're so, going to lose your balance and fall, fall forward into the tech. Always right. fall forward. That should be a t shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Next <laughs> merch drop. <laughs> yeah. On shintariguys.com. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think, um, yeah, it's a, it it is interesting all the time, always because when we talk when we try to talk about these concepts like kuzushi or you know yeah. a certain type of throws with you, it's not really all about because a, a lot of times when people ask about these things, they one one liner like you do this and you'll be able to throw this person. Yeah, you know, but you gotta it's, pull it's, more. You gotta yeah, pull more. Yeah, it's like okay, buddy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's very helpful. And. I think it's, and, and also just explaining away, like you said, like giving a dissertation on how to 
do kazushi is, is not helpful either for students so all mm -hmm. these details are you know irrelevant even they don't they Irrelevant. a lot of times people even nah. don't get it so the best nah. thing is to give very actionable things low-hanging fruits yeah to get them going and then they have to figure out what that is for themselves i think that that's yes. the key yes. yeah yeah so the uh the job is a t the teacher you, you should be just setting them off with the right course i guess yes that's correct yeah <laughs> it's cool <laughs> anything else we miss about kuzushi you know it's good to understand this in Nawaza too, right? If the person's yeah. in their oh, guard, right. close yeah. guard, you kazushi, and then they need to keep their base. What are they going to do? They're going to use mm -hmm. their hands mm -hmm. to get a base. And right. if they're upright, they have a very good base. Mm. You kazushi them all thousand and forward. When they pulse their hand to keep their base, because they need a wider base, you could attack that arm because now that arm is extended. You yeah. use kazushi as a means to pull their arms away from their body. Right. And then do multiple attacks, right? And then same thing, like you're going for a triangle, right? Mm -hmm. And the person's upright and fighting the legs off and keeping good posture. You change the angle, try to knock them off their base, which is Kazushi's off balance on them. Yeah. And then you can return to a Juji or try to cinch a Sankaku because you're playing the game between Kazushi attack, Kazushi attack, Kazushi attack, and then right. stand up, same thing, right? Position, off balance, attack, fake turn throw, pull the head down, Kazushi, attack, attack, right? force Nawaza, who knows, whatever, right? So you're constantly messing with the person's balance and you can only do that when you have good position. Mm -hmm. Because if you're even position, they can do the exact same back to you, right? Yeah. It's just not a great place to be in, you know? Yeah. And that's the entire premise of this whole thing that I'm always preaching about, like being in better position. Because if I'm in great position, you, you're going to have a hard time off balancing. Right, you know? right. Yeah. Makes sense. So yeah, it applies to Nevada too. Uh, you know, if you're trying to Absolutely, sweep yeah. or like apply yeah. chokes and whatever, attacks, sweeps. Yeah. It works yeah. in dating too, right? You want to throw some uh, liners in there to off balance them a little bit. You right? know, if they get too comfortable, you know, you want them to sort of, you, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, uh, you know, I was actually about, I was going to make that joke. I, I you know, do you remember at my wedding, my, what my friend said, my, the officiant? He talked about so. Kazushi. He actually, yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, um, my good friend from college, she officiated yeah. our wedding, my wedding, yeah. and then he talked about Kazushi because he went right. to talk to you guys. That's he, right. He did such right. a great job. And Oh, I do remember that. Actually, yeah, he said, good Kazushi always leads to Bukake. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> Damn, that, that was really, uh, no, the yeah. point was that it's a great power, you know? So there's the thing is. he was saying, like, if once you learn how to do Kazushi in a relationship, in a, uh, in a, in that sense, yeah, that once you master it, it that's a great power yeah. and then you have to be very careful, you know, yeah. And yeah. when to use it. You still talk but, to that guy? Of course. Yeah. yeah. What a winner yeah. that guy is, huh? He's, he's great. Yeah. He's a stud. Uh, what a stud. He's yeah. a very, he was a stud. He's a stud. Yeah. I felt cool. a little bit like uh, bad about myself. He's like, what do you do for a living? I was like, uh, you know. Why? You know, so, what about you? Oh, you know, I worked in tech, took an exit. You know, I worked at Twitter. You heard of Twitter? Yeah, I heard of Twitter. <laughs> right? He's, he's great. No, man. He, he, yeah, a he's, a, yeah, he's, he's a stud. A stud. He's a stud. Yeah, yeah. Such a good speaker. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway. That was a good speech. Yeah. Kazushi, though. That's Kazushi. Thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kazushi. That should be the title of this thing. Kazushi leads to. Okay. <laughs> Don't say it. <laughs> Very inappropriate. Yeah, I gotta stop saying stuff like that. It's okay. That's your uh, that's your edge. Look, I can't. I can never say. I, you know. You know. I'm so uptight with these things. Yeah, that's yeah. But, yeah, but you 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 lose cannon. So we gotta oh, we balance each other out. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, thanks for listening, guys. I uh, hope you you know you hope this helps this is helpful in when yeah. you try to develop an idea of what Kuzushi is. It's very hard yeah. to learn, but once you learn, I mean, the, your judo, jujitsu will, you know, make yeah. leaps of improvement. Yeah. You know, yes. It's just very central. So, yep. all right. Well, thanks for listening and uh, I'll, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Yep.